Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the October budget. Things have changed since my last budget. I'm gonna go over it really quickly and then I probably, well, I'll probably keep addressing it in future budget videos, but I got a new job as of late September, so I will not be able to be showing my income. As for all the people that are gonna ask questions about that, it is in my new company's handbook that we cannot share our income, and since I have a public YouTube channel, even though a lot of the people that I'm coworkers with because I've only been there for a few weeks. Um, they don't know that I do YouTube, but these videos are public and anyone can find out this information at any time. The reason I shared it previously is because I was HR at my old job, so I was able to do whatever I wanted, um, but that's not the case anymore. But I will be showing the outgoing as well. This is kind of what I started doing when I originally started doing budgets. So um, as for the spreads like this that I typically use these. These are the Emily's Budget Bundle um, for Coffee Break Planner. I will show an old one. I'll still be doing these, but I won't be able to share them anymore because I put like my income and stuff on there. And this is like my real life planner. Like I'm not doing this just for YouTube. Like I want to use it for me. So let me show you like a previous spread as to how to use these. And I will link Coffee Break Planner below as well. So like here's April. So I put in like all the no spends and then the dollar amount of how much I had every paycheck. And then when I, you know, had different things going on. But anyways, um, let's move these to the side. Obviously it's October. This is going up on the 6th of October. And I have my little, I like to keep some of these like little Erin Condren sticky notes on the side here um, to put down if there's any like things that are coming up in the near future that I need to budget out for. So I have my life insurance and then triple A. And then also, I can kind of see it over here. Um, I need uh, new tires, and then I also have an oil change scheduled um, this month. So we will put that all in here, and I'm gonna use this side. Everyone that has questions about this side, I don't use it for anything. I never have, I don't know if I ever will, but there we go. Um, also, a planner friend sent these to me. This is from Uncommon Plans. I will leave the link below. And I figured this would look really pretty for the fall. One of these big, you know, washy strips. And actually, I'm gonna start over here. Ah, there we go. Let's see if I can get it to like square up properly, which you would think with all the plan with me's and all this other shenanigans that I would actually know what I'm doing when I'm laying stickers down, but I don't. <laughs> um, all right, perfect, that looks really cute. And then I thought that um, one of these little half boxes would look kinda cute somewhere on here. Maybe, maybe, maybe one of these ones. Ooh, that one's like not cut very well, okay. Here we go, here we go. I just need to like try a little harder, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's put this right here. And then I have this uh, sticker sheet from Erin Condren. Uh, I will leave a link below for you guys if you're interested in anything from Erin Condren. There's two separate links. One of them is if you've never purchased anything from Erin Condren before, there is a um, $10 off referral code. You actually sign up using your email and then Erin Condren will actually send you a couple of different emails. But one of the emails will be a unique coupon code just for you to use on your first purchase and it's $10 off. When your item ships, I also get a $10 off coupon code, which is fantastic. And then um, there's another link for Erin Condren if you've already like purchased from the site. And then what I use, this is a seven by nine. I get a lot of questions on it. And um, this is my budget 2017. So yeah, it's seven by nine and it is the 2017 monthly planner. So this is just what I use. And oh my gosh, my battery is dying. Why is my battery dying? I just turned this thing on. Okay, give me just a second. I'm gonna re put in a battery and I'll be right back. All right, sorry if the frame looks slightly different, but I had to take the whole apparatus off to put the battery in because the battery hole with the actual camera is hiding. So anyway, let's get into the budget. So I'm gonna put October and then budget. 
And then um, I think what I'm going to do, because this is gonna be a very different budget for me and I'm not used to doing it this way yet, is I'm just gonna list out like all my outgoing and then when I turn the camera off, unfortunately, um, I'm gonna list out my incoming and then figure it out from there. So yeah, I mean, this is just the way I have to do it for now. And um, it's gonna be the way it's gonna be for probably quite a while because I really enjoy my new job. So let's get started on the bills. All right, so here are all of my set expenses for the month. My mortgage is 451.38, I was gonna say 83, I was trying to invert my numbers really quickly. I get a lot of questions on why my mortgage is so low. I put 50% down on my home, and that is why it is so incredibly low. And for anybody that's wondering, I live in Minnesota. People ask all the time in the comments, so I figured I would address it. Um, also my HOA, because I do live in a development, is $158, uh, my electric, it's always an estimate for the electric. Um, there, there's no like set expense, but um, last month it was about a hundred bucks. And then this month should be about 80. I have not been using um, as much with like the air conditioning and stuff like that. So it's all run through the electric. Uh, my gas is always set at $44. And then once, I believe it's once a year, maybe twice a year, they like reset it. Um, so right now it's $44. My trash is $29 and 75 cents. Uh, my water through the city, uh, it's like the city water and sewer is $50. It's just like an approximate estimate. Auto insurance is $85 and 42 cents. That doesn't change. My Wi-Fi is the same at $45.29. Netflix is the same, $10.68. And then uh, Culligan, I actually rent a water softener um, because it's already busted twice since the house was built in 2002. It's just not the best city water, to be completely honest. It's very hard. So um, it kind of ruins your water softener and um, Culligan comes out and they actually put in the water softening pellets and maintain it and all of that stuff too. So anyway, I uh, pay a monthly fee of $31.85 for that as well. There are some other miscellaneous expenses, I say that with jazz hands, miscellaneous expenses coming up this month. And then I'm gonna just like skip a line, I think, and then I'll write those in and then I'll put my cash in too. But because I like to make it fancy, I think I'm gonna use one of these. Um, and I think I'm gonna use like maybe, I don't know, maybe the yellow. I was really looking for like a washi strip, but I don't, didn't seem to find any on these. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? On this like sampler thing I was sent. So I just thought, why not? Actually, let's, let's try this out. Again, Emily with the stickers. Like I can never, I can never get it right, you know? <laughs> but I really like this glitter. It looks really nice. All right, well, I only needed three. I thought I needed four, but I only need three. Okay, perfect. All right, so have the little spacer because you know I like my spacers. And um, let's write in all of my kind of miscellaneous things that are coming up this month. All right, so as for the items that I just wrote down, my life insurance is approximately 180. I do this once a year and I can't remember. I know it's not more than $200, but I, I just can't remember. I pay on an annual basis. I got the life insurance many, many years ago. Um, my AAA is approximately $150, I think. I want to, I think it is, but I cannot for the life of me remember. I'm gonna like legit track this this year and then write it down and so I have it forever and ever, but it just comes in the mail. Um, my oil changes are typically around $60. Uh, my oil changes are a little bit more expensive because I have a little bit of an older vehicle and it's now over 100,000 miles, so I get like the high mileage oil and all that good stuff. Um, the tires, I talked to the person today. They said, you know, tires can cost, I, I don't know, it's gonna be at least $400, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. I need to like talk with them in depth about the tires and um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that, but that'll actually be happening, I think, did I make it for, no, not this weekend, but I made it for next weekend, so I'm gonna be going there and doing that. So again, let's grab the spacers real quick and then um, I'll pull my cash too because that's always fun to see that because I have some fun things coming up this month. 
And you guys will actually see some of the fun things because I am in the middle of doing Vlogtober, which is vlogging every day in the month of October. So that's fun and exciting. So sometimes I up my cash budget, cash budget, um, to accommodate for some of that stuff because, you know, if it's in the budget, why the heck not? And then, you know, I can see what's going on. All right, so gas, I'm gonna do the same at around $300. Um, it's been a little bit less recently, but it seems like the gas prices here just seem to like kind of fluctuate. So I like to just put in a little bit more and then I just like don't feel that guilty about it. Um, my groceries, I'm gonna knock it back down to about 250. I did 300 last month and to be honest, I didn't spend all of that money. So I think two, 250 is usually like a good middle ground for me. Dining. Um, I'm gonna up my budget just slightly. I usually do about a hundred bucks, but I think I'm gonna do 150. I actually have my brother is coming this weekend and we're gonna go out to uh, dinner this upcoming Saturday, which is tomorrow for you guys. And um, I wanted to make sure I had enough, you know, cash in my budget for this. And then um, Emily's miscellaneous, which is, you know, just a little bit of everything. Um, like if I wanna buy, I don't know, something for the house or like makeup or I don't know, something that's not necessarily in the budget. I like to just give myself like a hundred dollar buffer, uh, you know, clothes, just any anything. So anyways, as always, let's get this total up or totaled up. I cannot talk today. It's been a long day, y'all. It's been a long day. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get this totaled up and then we'll uh, put a total at the end of all of the monies I have to pay this month. All right, so my total for right here is $986.37. And all of my extras, which is kind of a big extra month, um, I know a lot of you guys, you know, ask if I do sinking funds. A at this point, I don't, but um, as of the first of the year, I will be doing sinking funds just because now I have a home and some of these expenses I won't necessarily be able to cash flow. I mean, I should be able to, but it's just nice to kind of like save up for, you know, a car fund and like things like that looking down like long term because let's be honest, like vehicles don't last forever. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that, but I will set that up at the beginning of the year and then I will share that with you guys as to like, how much I wanna put in the sinking funds and you know, yada, yada, yada. So, so let's see, I've got all of the expenses. All right, so my total for the month outgoing is $2,576.37. Ta-da! Can you guys see? I hope you can see. My camera's a little bit wonky today, so I hope you guys can see pretty well. But anyways, um, that is going to conclude the budget. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you guys. If you like budgeting videos, uh, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. Let's me know that you wanna see more budget type videos or tips and tricks of how to save money in my channel. And also, if you don't wanna miss any of my future content, feel free to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. You can also hit that little like, there's like a little bell. I don't know why I do this with my hands, but there's like a little bell. Um, you can hit that and what that will do is it'll actually send you an email every time I upload a video. Uh, typically, I am here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. with content for you guys, uh, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But since I'm doing Vlogtober, um, honestly, I am uploading vlogs kind of just whenever. So sometimes it's early in the morning, sometimes it's afternoon, and sometimes it's really, really late in the evening. So uh, you just pop it, it, just an email pops through when I upload a video. So if you're interested, you can do that as well. But anyways, I am gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys understand about the new job transition and me not being able to share any of my future income with you guys, but I still wanna show you this because I feel like this is a direct reflection of what I'm really doing. The income minus the outgo is now for my own private viewing, but I really, really enjoy watching budget videos and kind of seeing what people have going on in their lives because it kind of reminds me like, oh yeah, I have 
have to do this too this year or hey I need to go get you know new tires or whatever so I just find it more helpful for me watching videos like that so I feel like I'm babbling on like with every single video I do but I'm gonna jet thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will talk to you all in the next video bye guys